Hello vlog, welcome to a new video. Today's an off day for running. If you watched the last video, you know that I'm doing on and off days for running. Today is exciting because it's the last day of work that I have until the 9th, so August 9th Monday. I'm off all of next week, which is amazing because there's a holiday this weekend, so I didn't have to use a ton of vacation time, so perfect. Good afternoon vlog and welcome to week two of running. Today is the 31st of July, that is so loud. I'm going to start week two. It's officially been one week since I got my vaccine last Saturday and I started running last Friday. So I did four runs last week, starting week two today and I'm at a mile and a half is where I ended two days ago. So I'm glad there's a bunch of AC running in here. It makes it a lot easier to Stay cool when I run. So I'm pretty excited about the fact that I think uh, my athleticism and my body bouncing back with most things, like especially when I started climbing and doing a lot of things, I look fit pretty quickly after I start doing things. So that's pretty reassuring that my body is remembering if that's its athleticism. Running for longer periods of time is actually turning out to be less painful than I expected. I was definitely anticipating this to be a lot worse than it actually is. So thankfully it's not. And after running, we're gonna do some pull-ups. We're gonna go to the hot tub. I brought goggles just in case. I wanted to take a quick like shake out in the pool if my legs were feeling like ass, but I think I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. The mile and a half that I just did was around 18.30 or eight, under 18.30, I believe. So we really ramped up the pace today. I will do a pull-up check uh, after this. I was able to capture some footage because, as you can see, there's nobody present in here, so I was very open to vlogging. I just wanted to cook a big, beautiful breakfast and then I dropped an entire container on the floor and shattered it. More sunflowers! Also, the sun is pink again. Look at the shadows, they're pink. And the sun is pink. And the mountains are not visible. Olympic swimming ended yesterday, so I no longer have my main sport to watch in the Olympics, which is okay because I'm so grateful that I was able to find it so I could watch basically every single day. I didn't watch prelims every day because it was in the middle of the night, but I watched every final and semi-final that was on during 6.30 Pacific time. So I was able to watch every final basically with the exception of if I was like out buying groceries or doing something, but you know, I was really happy about that. Tomorrow's a holiday and like I mentioned probably in this vlog, earlier in this vlog, I'm off for this entire week. So upcoming, I'm gonna be looking a lot of things for when I plan to be home in November, when we plan to go to Ottawa in November, plan another end of the year trip possibly that I wanna take since hopefully travel will be okay. Brunch and munch. Brunch and? Munch. Isn't the brunch the thing that you munch? Brunch and brunch. Brunch munch. Brunch munch. Munch. I'm having a nice hair day. I think I'm missing the hole every time. French and Did scrunch. I just try and put it in the second hole again? I don't know. I was I scrunching. Did it, is it in the second hole with the same piercing or is it in the right? No, it's in the different hole. <laughs> Just finished. Shadows are probably horrendous, but bear with me. Really built through that entire thing. Ending heart rate was 160 because I was really pushing towards the end. And it's the fastest I've got this done because, you know, this is only my third day at a mile and a half, but I got it done in under 18 minutes, which is pretty great progress for me. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> Hello vlog, welcome to officially vacation day one. Yesterday was a holiday and I didn't have to use any of my vacation time. Today is the first day of my week off officially. I am headed out to do a couple of things. I need to go buy more iPhone chargers because we had four of those white cables from, I, from Apple 
and within the span of two weeks, all four of them have suddenly just lights out, done, won't charge our phones, nothing. Which is a problem because, you know, we need to charge our phones and stuff. But also researching flights because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get back to Maryland in a couple of months. Tommy is at work and I'm just hanging out. Now that I look like a human being, I'm going to go out and grab sushi for lunch. Good afternoon vlog. It is Wednesday and it's pretty loud in the apartment because we got AC running and I have stuff on the stove so I'm making like pasta and things but I pretty much only have one thing to do today and it's to run. That's the only thing I had scheduled <laughs> that I needed to do. Other than that I'll probably go out and walk, go out and like window shop a bit because it's really nice to shop during the day. With all the exercise I've been doing recently, I've actually seriously considered getting an Apple Watch because some of the ones that I liked were the waterproof ones that people used to wear when we went to Florida every year for training trip and college. I'm not really hating that. I think I'll let myself do a little bit more. I It was like one of those things where I didn't want to start buying more like outfits to work out in if I wasn't actually going to commit to doing something. So I'll probably give myself a little bit more time just in case. But yeah, basically I have been doing this for about two weeks now and I think I can justify that kind of purchase in like maybe another week or so because some of the cheaper ones are under 300 bucks. So I don't hate that. I probably need to go in and get it sized though because I have like a very, very small wrist. So I need to make sure that whatever I get works and it's not in the way. But I don't know if I, like I never really liked the idea of one to begin with, mostly because like I have a bracelet on this arm, so I don't really want to wear one on the hand that I write with either. So I'm just trying to figure out like what exactly would make the most sense for that. But just an idea, just a thought. Another thing is tomorrow, I kind of made a dumb mistake where um, we're going back to see the sunflowers and I'll make that a separate video if there's enough footage but we're going back to see the sunflowers this year and Tommy didn't go last year so he and I are gonna go on Thursday but the calendar for the purchasing page has like a Monday as the first day instead of a Sunday so I went to the third to last column trying to buy tickets for a Thursday and I bought tickets for Friday so I'm trying to get that sorted out so that's an exciting thing that I've been looking forward to all summer so I'm just happy that we're gonna get a chance to do that tomorrow night and have a little date night. And yeah, as of now, I guess the next time I'll see you is when I go running. I certainly didn't expect to spend this much of my vacation trying to work out something with a bank, but I, I have, and I was the one that fixed it anyway. Some banks are really, really great with customer service and some really, really, really suck. <laughs> so I've just encountered an hour of five different people trying to figure out something that was as simple as me just trying to reset my password. They were trying to get me to do all this other like crap and it's just like, come on. Good morning vlog. The exciting news for today is that the battery's gonna die. Exciting news for today is that I was able to move our sunflower reservation so that will be teased in this vlog if there's enough footage in its own video like I mentioned yesterday. So very excited that they were able to switch that because we can go today, it's gonna be pouring tomorrow. So it would have been fine, but it would have been a lot less fun if we were there in the pouring rain because I want to take some nice pics and like walk around and not just be like eh the whole time that happened and of course it's a lot nicer when it's a day I don't have to run because I don't have to try and plan a run anything like that um, another cool thing is the dress that I was planning to wear to a wedding that Tommy and I are going to in November came back in stock so I bought that yesterday and I found another really cute one that I bought as well because I actually don't really own like a lot of dresses I have like two really big oversized dresses that I never really wear so yeah it's been very exciting the last 24 hours really I haven't really done much since the running um, I revived some of my plants because for some reason a lot of my plants were getting really droopy and weird and probably, I couldn't tell, I'm notorious for overwatering, but I didn't know that I'm pretty sure these were underwatering because today after I watered them more than I normally would each time and more frequently now, they look so much better, like they're standing up again, like a lot of them were just drooping so I repotted almost all of them yesterday and now they're looking a lot happier with me because they were just, they were all drooping and looking sad and I couldn't figure out why. What are we doing? 
Uh, sunflowers. Sunflowers! Sunflower. Dead sunflowers. Sunflowers! Sunflowers! You've never been. Uh, I haven't. Do you think it'll be fun? That's right, it's, it's, it was a summer tradition for us for like three years. Hello vlog, so yesterday we found the sunflower place. I'll insert some footage after this, but basically we did everything wrong. We got off at the wrong SkyTrain stop, we got on the wrong bus, we got off the bus too early, but good thing we left super early so we still got there in plenty of time to actually see everything we wanted to see. There's plenty of footage from yesterday, definitely, to make this vlog work as, like, sorry, to make the sunflowers work as its own video, so that'll come out later on. Right now I'm actually out in the West End picking up a pair of pants from somebody that I've been looking for for a while because they retail at Aritzia for way too much money. Now I'm gonna get them for 30 bucks. So I'm pretty psyched and hopefully they look really nice. Got them. They're a green or like olive green pants from Aritzia. I forget the actual name, I'll insert it here, but they're cute. They got the stretchy band and like I said, they retail for like way too much, but I got them for 30 bucks and they're, they've only been worn like three times, she said, maybe less. green. I've always been looking for this color in a work pant, so we're really expanding those uh, work apparel horizons. I still have to run today, so that's kind of the last thing that I'm waiting for. It's not even 6 p.m. yet, so it's totally fine, but the vlog is going to end basically with a running clip because this video is probably already getting quite long. Last run of the week. Started officially two weeks ago. I'm going to do the very best I can. Hello vlog, as I said, I just did one mile because I'm pretty pumped with my feet right now so I didn't want to push it. Just watched the um, US basketball team win and yay! I'm gonna end the vlog here, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the sunflower video because that's gonna be its own video and I'm really excited to parse through it from just everything I've seen when I actually downloaded all the stuff onto my phone so I'm, I'm pretty psyched about that. So enjoy uh, that one when you watch it and See you in the next one.